guys and welcome to another kit review okay so today we're having a look at a kit from mini art and the kit number is 35013 it is their austrian city building and it is in 135th scale okay so as you can see this is one of their mini arts buildings all right this is a damaged austrian two-story i'm oh, sorry three-story building okay this one I picked up fairly cheap, cost me around about $20 Australian. Um, this one is actually discontinued by Miniart. It was released in 2004, so I can understand that. They're refreshing their range, so they decided to dispose of that, which is why I picked it up on special. Okay, so that's the box art. As you can see, it is a three-story building, a little bit fancy slightly damaged okay standard mini art a lot of their um kits um are actually damaged buildings okay so i'm pretty sure with a little bit of work you could actually make this into a new undamaged building which is something that i'm actually thinking about anyway so there's the cover art let's have a look at the rest of the box ukrainian Russian English unassembled plastic kit okay model is over the age of 10 mini arts address in the UK Ukraine usual other warnings that's its regular price in Australia 26 27 bucks thereabouts like I said I got it for about 20 bucks so I thought that was a reasonable kind of bargain all right on the other side four more of mini arts well actually three more this is just a side view front view of the actual austrian building that is a polish city building which i believe is also discontinued ukrainian city building that's definitely discontinued and german village house so all three of these kits i believe are all discontinued at this stage okay so unfortunately you won't be buying those ones off the shelf. All right, so that's what's on the outside. Let's have a look and see what's on the inside. As usual, one bag of sprues. Okay. You have a decal sheet, which is stapled to the instructions. And the very, very basic instructions. Okay, so that's what's in the box. In a second we'll have a look at how it all goes together okay so let's have a quick look at the instructions okay so as you can see fairly basic these are your window frames okay and from what i can see they're not damaged which means it'd be quite easily to make this into a good building if you didn't mind the uh, side walls being only partials okay Good for a background i reckon very good for a background diorama if you make it a fairly new building okay on the other side this shows you how the two halves go together the side walls fit into the two halves and all the windows etc and fit into the front fairly simple fairly straightforward most of the work is actually not shown and that's cleaning up these parts so they fit correctly okay so that's the instructions so i did say these were decals they're actually not that's just not a sticky piece of paper it is just a printed piece of paper standard german propaganda posters from world war ii they're quite large i think they may be oversized 135th scale some of them are at least they look quite large for the side of a building but never actually seen them in real life i couldn't tell you there's a couple of street name signs on here um an ad for volkswagen a couple of adolf hitlers etc etc so i'll give you a shot of that and in a second we'll have a look at the actual sprues and vacuum formed parts
Okay, so let's have a look at the accessory parts first, which is the window frames and the doors, etc. Okay, so you get three identical sprues, all the same thing. Okay, so I'll leave that one behind, put those aside. Let's have a look. Okay, so as you can see, you do get frames and windows, frames and windows, frames and windows. There is a lot of flash in these windows. Okay, there is a fair bit of flash on most of the parts for the injected molded. All right, okay, the detail is quite nice. Fairly plain, which is understandable because that's most buildings are fairly plain and you could paint these up quite nicely. Once it's cleaned up, I would probably paint the window frames, etc. separately to give them a really nice finish. But as you can see, there is a fair bit of clean up on these and you do get three parts. Three sprues, I mean, not three parts. So there is enough here. For this entire building okay and probably just looking at it a few leftover bits and pieces for the spares box but i'll give you a shot of that so you can see the flash etc so all right it's not too bad on the detail but a lots of flash to clean up okay Okay, so let's have a look at probably the most difficult part of this Austrian building kit. Okay, so what you have here are the tiles on the front of the building. That's those there. Okay, and they are supposed to go together like this. And they go in a long line on that ledge there okay and that's the only instructions you get in this kit for those tiles so having had a good look at it what i can see is this is one set of tiles and this is the overlapping tiles so that's a lot of work you literally have to cut these tiles out of this section not individually just a whole section if you can manage it otherwise it's going to be individual Remove all the little vacuum form pips, etc., that you can see on here. And then cut out all of these, including the ends, which are solid. Cut them all out. And then these individual parts overlap between each of those tiles. That is an awful lot of work. And I'm sure Mini Art could have made it a lot easier just by making these into a standard injection molded part that went on the front of the building. So that's probably the most complex part of this construction, all right? Those tiles. I'll give you a shot of those, but for my money, seeing as that is a really nice flat ledge. I probably wouldn't even bother with these. That's an awful lot of work, but that is up to you guys how you want to play that game. So next we'll have a look at the sidewalls. So this is the smaller sidewall, okay? Really nice detail, as you can tell. It's angled to fit in, all right? Very fine brick detail along there. Okay, not too bad. And only has one or two little pips to clean up on that one. This side, exactly the same. Nice detail. Okay, one or two little indents and things to clean up. Or you could just leave those if you wanted to. And these two parts go together to form one of the side walls. Let's have a look at the other side walls. As you can see, 
these two go together like so same again really nice brick detail so that will paint up really well with a nice wash you can literally get away with painting these side walls and the front wall any color you wanted to for a building it doesn't have to be an austrian building it can be anywhere in europe eastern europe especially okay so really nice okay that's supposed to be a bullet hole or something so it's not a mold problem not sure what they are let's have a look at the instructions see if it tells me and no it doesn't so i would suspect that these side balls are probably from another kit so i would probably fill those and make it look like a brick te texture okay now the only drawback with these kits is that no locations so what i normally do this excess i will cut it into sections glue it inside and use those as locating tabs to make it the join stronger and to make it fit properly okay so that's the second side one And this is the front of the building. It's quite big. 35th scale. Where is my Frenchman? 35th scale. Okay, even with the door stop, that is a big door. All right. Sides would say slightly oversized, although there are especially older buildings with big doors so personal choice i might think about putting an extra step in here to bring that height up to a bit more reasonable rather than a huge you know well this guy is um what 1.8 meters that's a two and a half meter door easy two and a half meter door okay so putting him aside let's have a look there you go nice detail bit of cleanup there are some marks not many there are a few little pip marks and things around the window edges okay the brickwork is really nice a few blemishes and things which could do with a sanding down on the top not quite sure what that's supposed to be i would probably fill those although i think they're supposed to be bullet holes but i do not think the lines are supposed to be there so i will probably end up sanding those down okay as you can see there is some pips and things on this which don't appear to be part of the decoration so I would probably sand those down. So there's a little bit of cleanup. The hardest part, of course, is cutting this, but that's just patience. And you can use, well, some people use a scoring blade. Some people use a scoring knife. I just normally use my normal cutting knife and just take my time and do it very carefully. And I don't throw away these. I keep those for placing inside the walls as um, location points etc and bracing okay so that's the front of the building and this is the back okay so same again now large door nice brick work there are no internal floors in this building okay 
so if you want flooring you're going to have to build it yourself I think there may be one or two aftermarket kits out there which do have rubble and floors for such things so that'd be something I'd be looking at but overall details nice not many of the vacuum formed um, pips and things that I can see but there is a bit of stuff around the windows that will need cleaning up and the windows are always a challenge to get out without destroying them okay so that's it that is mini arts austrian city building and that brings us to the end of this review as i said i picked this one up cheap it's been discontinued it came out in 2004 so it is now 16 years old okay if you wanted a backdrop for your um, diorama or even just a backdrop for your display shelf and you have space for it because it is three and a bit stories high this would be a good one okay um, when it comes to building this one I'm actually going to have a look at fixing those walls where it's lost the plaster and the bullet holes and possibly making this into a undamaged Austrian building or even an Eastern European German building okay so as usual that brings us to the end of this one I hope you got something from it and thanks for watching guys and until next time take it easy and I'll see you later